Hi, my name is Jacqueline Prowera from Mountain House, California. First of all, thank you to Heal the Planet for nominating me as this month's Young Planet Leader. My involvement with sustainability started all the way back in third grade when I first joined Science Olympia. And studying topics like oceanography, geology, and meteorology, I gradually fell in love with the planet. But at the same time, learning about the environment also opened my eyes to how we're also destroying the environment. And even I was contributing, I realized, with my everyday habits. From single-use plastics to food waste that ends up in the landfill, so many of our everyday habits contribute to pollution. So I looked around at my daily life and my waste, and I asked myself, how can I prevent these from harming the environment? Now what's interesting is that in nature, nothing is wasted and everything is recycled. But the lack of recyclability and compostability of our waste means it will be indigestible in nature. So I thought, well, what if we could take a leaf from nature's book? Perhaps our waste is not simply waste, but also an untapped resource. And from there started my journey of upcycling everyday waste, from spent coffee grounds to corn husks to crustacean shells, and turning them into solutions to environmental problems for the past 11 years and counting. Now, some of the inventions I'm most proud of so far are derived from upcycling fish gear waste. One invention that I named Cycloplast 2 works by upcycling fish scales in a dual focus development. In focus one, I use the bow mineralization concept to valorize 3D printed PLA waste by synthesizing it with fish scale inspired minerals to form a composite. And this composite had enhanced flexural strength greater than the original PLA and also enhanced degradation in home composting environments. In focus two, I use the sclerotization concept to enhance the physiochemical properties of the intact collagenous matrix of fish scale waste to form a thin plastic-like material. And the tensile strength and thermal stability of this material surpassed that of LDPE and PLA, and it could degrade within eight weeks in soil with no environmental impacts. And since one size does not fit all, I'm targeting single-use plastics in our everyday lives at a cost of less than $4 a kilogram, while being able to carry loads over 40 pounds and fully degrade in the environment. So Cycloplast 2 can transform our waste into a resource to prevent additional plastic pollution. But then I started thinking, I want my inventions to be more than just alternatives to plastic. In fact, pollutants can even hitchhike on plastics already in the environment. So utilizing the same fish scale waste composition, I developed a biosorbent that can absorb pollutants, especially heavy metals, since the main components of fish scales, collagen and calcium salts, are already primed to absorb heavy metals. And one kilogram of my material that I named Cyclocloud, at a cost of only 23 cents, can treat wastewater to meet EPA drinking water standards. And considering that current U.S. wastewater treatment plants have no federal standards for removing heavy metals, Cyclocloud can prevent additional heavy metal pollution from entering the environment. So my invention, Cyclocloud, by upcycling waste, can mitigate aquatic pollution and reclaim resources from wastewater to promote a circular economy. Now, since developing Cycloplast 2 and Cyclocloud, I've been studying at MIT as a material science engineering major. And for the past two years of my undergrad career, I've continued to work on projects that make the materials we rely on every day more sustainable. I've been working with researchers at the Center of Electrification and Decarbonization of Industry, including processes to decarbonize cement production, patent pending, and ways to more sustainably mine crucial geological resources. Ultimately, my goal is to make our everyday lives and choices more sustainable. And to do that, I plan on pursuing sustainable materials research to achieve this goal. Once again, thank you to Heal the Planet for nominating me as this month's Young Planet Leader. My name is Jacqueline Prowira, and thank you for listening.